Okay, so here I am back at the chainsaw carving uh, station once again. This is not something that uh, I have been looking forward to. I want to, I got to douche out the shop, clean her all up. So I don't even know where to start. And I don't even know where, I don't even know what to do here. So, yep. Oh boy. Okay, so I've been at it for about an hour, slowly getting there. You know, me being a bachelor, do you know why I don't have a kitchen table? Some of you guys might have noticed in my kitchen there, I don't have a kitchen table. I don't have a kitchen table because all it does is collect goddamn crap. Yep. It's a junk collector. If I had a kitchen table, it would be full of paperwork and bills and crap. Okay, so most of that wood there is coming out here. I don't need to keep it inside. It's all driftwood, most of it. These stumps somebody dropped off me for next year pumpkins. I got to move those over there. At the end of the day, I want to move this big sucker into the shop because it's going to be my first project for the uh, chainsaw carving. I'm going to split it right down the middle. Yep, this is a log that me and my buddy Scott got off the beach when he snapped his tendon. But uh, this is over a thousand pounds. Yep. Okay, that's done. Ah, uh, man. Okay, like I said, I'm gonna get all this wood out of here. It doesn't need to be in here. I'll get a good tarp and it can sit outside, right? Lots of it's just driftwood. And uh, I wanna stack it where this big log is. If anybody cares, I don't even know why I'm making this video. So this log's about over a thousand pounds. So I gotta see if I can get it uh, on the dolly and pull it out. I got this uh, rope, this stuff's kind of stretchy, climbing rope, but whatever. Because I want to pile all the wood in here, right? So I got my tripod set up there. It's, it's, it's a nice day out. I got my tripod uh, set up here and I'll set it on the tripod. Let's see if I can move this big log by myself. It doesn't look that big, but I'm telling you, that is soaking wet cedar. Oh yeah. That's not going to happen. This dolly lays out, so I'll pull the wheels out and then I'll drop it. That's what I'll do, yep. Now I can't drop those legs because I already got it uh, tied up. I don't feel like I'm tying it. So let's see if I can do it here. Oh boy. Yeah, I want to get all the wood uh, out here. Go buy a big tarp. Just use these small tarps for now. Then I want to slice this sucker right down the middle. And uh, I was going to make a chair, but it's not really wide enough the way I was going to make a chair. But I messaged Steve, Steve K. Kanzora. He said split it down the middle. Make a seat and a back for it like a throne chair. Then uh, see I can have an owl or an eagle sitting on the stump or something anyways. Boy oh boy oh boy I'll say one thing. Am I ever out of shape? Even this log I think is like 800 pounds. This is uh, probably about 600 pounds. This is eastern red cedar that's which is very rare for around here. It's a log I got on Vancouver Island a couple years back. I don't know if you guys remember. 
but I've been saving it. But look at those beautiful colors. I know all you guys that get this wood are used to seeing that, but we like this was a rare tree growing here. The eastern red cedar, total different than our red cedar. Like this is our red cedar. The color difference. But this stuff does go brown after a while. But I've been saving this log. It's all twisty and gnarly. I just don't know. Maybe I'll carve a bunch of wood spirits on it or something. That's why I'm saving it because I don't. I still haven't made up my mind what I want to do. But anyways, this is going to be my new carving area right here. If I want to come outside a bit, I'll come outside, carve in the sun, um, get some sunshine on you. You know, this is the sacred pile here. This is the. Uh, Pacific U wood pile. Do not touch pile. You touch, you die pile. Okay, yeah, this stuff right here is my favorite wood to carve. And don't ever forget about the bear, pig, squirrel, raccoon, sea otter, seal, whale, bear, cat, dog carving. Save your first carving, everybody. Save your first carving. This is my first chainsaw carving a bear. Yep, that's it. I got it friggin' Rake all this shit up. Yeah, don't worry, Larry. Your weird, mystical, magical, weird planter thing still staying inside. Yep. Till I get over it, get it to get over on the island. Ugh. Meow. 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 Don't piss in here. <laughs> One handed. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm gonna attempt to take the wings off this eagle because, well, it just takes up too much space in the shop. So, remember this, Pete? Oh boy. Ah. Uh, I was gonna take the wings off because I'm gonna finish carving this year. I thought it might be easier to carve with the wings off, but the wings aren't coming off. Nope. The reason I haven't finished this yet is because, see, it's like a sitting eagle with spreading his wings. Is because I just don't know how to carve wings yet. I'm, I'm sure I could carve them, but I don't refine his face and stuff now. Well, that's where it's gonna sit for a while. Um, I'll put a tarp over it, tie it off, because look, you get direct sunlight here all day long. Oh, what a nice day. Now I gotta move this sucker.
I don't care what anybody says. That log might even be over a thousand pounds. Okay, well, I had to sharpen my chainsaw and I forgot that um, to hit record, but let's see if this sucker spreads apart. Splits. Let's see if this sucker splits. It splits. <laughs> okay, so I'm not, this is really my first time splitting a log like this. So you can see here where I had to go to the front and I screwed up the cut. No big deal. Who cares? I just get shit done. That's all. Got some rot in there. See, this is the split part too, where I screwed up the cut, but it's okay. Looks pretty straight to me. I'd think anyways, wouldn't you think? Okay, so I'll get this stood back up and uh, see what's going on here. <laughs> 